Hello everyone, today we're looking at what I believe is the five best Spitfire Audio Originals libraries. So let's get into it. Spitfire Audio has made quite a splash with their Originals libraries. Now these are high quality sample libraries priced at only $29. And today we're going to look at what I believe is the top five libraries out of all the Originals. Now today I'm giving you my opinion of which ones I think are the best, but I actually did a little homework and I went and looked at which of the libraries had the most views on their walkthrough videos that were put out by Spitfire Audio. And my list is actually pretty close to the order of the most viewed originals libraries on YouTube. So of course YouTube views is not the same as sales, but it does give us some idea. So coming in at number five is Mrs. Mills Piano. And this is actually the only one that I don't own. But I knew it had to be on the list because when you combine the Beatles with Abbey Road Studios and Spitfire Audio, you're bound to have a real winner. And although I don't own it, I have heard all the demos and they sound amazing. I just don't happen to have a use for this type of sound, but I can see why people love it and rave about it. And it is one of the most viewed originals libraries on YouTube. For that reason, I knew it had to be in this list and it's coming in for me at number five, the Mrs. Mills Piano. Coming in at number four is the Cinematic Pads, and all the rest of these libraries I actually own, so I'll be able to play some of these sounds for you. And Cinematic Pads is just a gorgeous library, and you have 23 different patches inside the Cinematic Pads library. And in each pad, you have a mellow, a bright, and a cinematic sound. So although there's only 23 patches, you can get a wide variety of pad sounds since there's three sounds built into each patch. So let me just play some of these sounds for you. Here's a preset called Woodland Wind. Here's another preset called Roadside Crosstalk. Here's a preset called Slow Reads. Here's a preset called Volcanic Beaches. And the last preset I'll show you is called Dystopian Ruin. Thank you. 
Number three on my list, and I really love this library, is called Cinematic Frozen Strings. Now this is a library that recorded the string players playing at super quiet volumes. So you get tons of bow noise, you get tons of icy textures, and this library is just packed with character. And I think it goes amazing with other libraries, particularly the one that I have at number one on my list, so the first patch is Long Flautando CS. This is Long Super Soltasto, and just listen to the high notes in this. Let me play just some of these high notes. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Harmonic Tremolo. So in this library, you have three different mic selections to choose from. You have your close mics, your tree mics, and you also have a super close mic, which is a DPA lav mic that's actually attached to the violin, and that can sound really cool. Let me play this harmonic tremolo again, but I'm going to play it with just the super close mics. Coming in at number two on my list is the Originals Media Toolkit. Now there's a few things that I just love about this library. And the first thing that's great about this library is Paul Thompson's Yamaha Grand Piano that was sampled. You also have this great acoustic guitar sound. And also inside of each sound, again, you have three sounds to choose from. So take this guitar, for instance. So here's a chord just on the clean. Here's just the pad. And then here's the hairpins. There's two other instruments in here that I absolutely just love, and one is this metallophone right here. The other thing I love about this library is the sub bass synth that was put in. I've used this over and over again to layer underneath orchestras, underneath other bass parts and other songs, and you can use this sub bass synth in pretty much any genre. There's also lots of great extra hits in here. You got household hits, kitchen hits, high hits, and knocks. Number one on my list is the Originals Intimate Strings. I have gotten so much use out of this. You can use this in orchestral music, electronic music, pop music, and probably so many other genres, and it just sounds beautiful. Let 
Let me play some of the high notes, and I love the sound of the bow going across the strings. This also is a great flautando sound. The other one I use a lot is the long harmonic sound. Just listen to these single notes. Who can tell me where that's from? Again, I've used this one so much, and that's why it's number one on my list. It just gives you that instant, big, wide, cinematic landscape. So in my opinion, that's the top five originals libraries. If you think I missed one, put it in the comments and let me know about it. Also, if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. That helps me out so much. Also, subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell for notifications. I put out new videos every single week. And I recently did a full review on cinematic Frozen strings, and you can see that review right here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.